peace and blessing to all of you in this blessed day of the Holy Thursday. This is Sister Daisy of the Daughters of St. Paul for today's reflection from the Gospel Power. Now before the festival of the Passover, Jesus knew that his hour had come to depart from this world and go to the Father. Having loved his own who were in the world, he loved them to the end. The devil had already put it into the heart of Judas, son of Simon Iscariot, to betray him. And during supper, Jesus, knowing that the Father had given all things into his hands and that he had come from God, and was going to God, got up from the table, took off his outer robe, and tied a towel around himself. Then he poured water into the basin and began to wash the disciples' feet and to wipe them with the towel that was tied around him. He came to Simon Peter, who said to him, Lord, Are you going to wash my feet? Jesus answered, You do not know now what I am doing, but later you will understand. Peter said to him, You will never wash my feet. Jesus answered, Unless I wash you, you have no share with me. Simon Peter said to him, Lord, Not my feet only, but also my hands and my head. Jesus said to him, One who has bathed does not need to wash except for the feet, but is entirely clean. And you are clean, though not all of you. For he knew who was to betray him. For this reason he said, Not all of you are clean. After he had washed their feet, had put on his robe, and had returned to the table, he said to them, Do you know what I have done to you? You call me teacher and Lord, and you are right, for that is what I am. So if I, your Lord and teacher, have washed your feet, you also ought to wash one another's feet. For I have set you an example that you also should do as I have done to you. Brothers and sisters, omnipotence has always been regarded as an attribute of God. All power resides in God. But in this world, the only notion we have of power is how we observe human beings exercise it, primarily through control and domination over others. And we cannot help but project that same notion unto God. Jesus, who is the image of the invisible God, in a shocking reversal of that notion, shows us that God's thoughts are not our thoughts, nor are God's ways our ways. God's omnipotence is the omnipotence of love. Only divine power can empty itself of glory and embrace servanthood, become vulnerable, and enter into the realm of death for the sake of others. Brothers and sisters, this omnipotence of love is what we see demonstrated in the act of food washing. The action is an anticipation of the sacrifice on Calvary, where Jesus will also empower us to wash one another's feet and so witness to the power of love. Lord Jesus, grant that we may never recoil from the task of washing one another's feet, but lovingly commit ourselves to this mandate of Christian love. Amen. Let 
Let us pray. Lord Jesus, you have full knowledge of every person, of our national problems and their causes, and you know the longings of our hearts. Lord, in the coming election, help us know and examine the track record and qualifications of candidates. Enlighten us to elect the right public servants to address our national problems, and may they invite public participation in the process. Lord, in the face of election anomalies like vote buying and the use of government funds to campaign, enable us to speak out the truth and act accordingly as upright citizens and practicing Christians so we can witness in words and actions the faith of 500 years you have gifted to our country. Amen.